The first time Ian and I met was in uh, June of 2015. And sadly, my mom had just died a couple of weeks before, and I was invited to go to the Moonlight Gala, which was a big fundraiser at the McMichael Gallery, a great Canadian gallery outside of Toronto. And I really didn't want to go because my mom had just died. And if I had to put on a little black dress once more all by myself, I, I really didn't want to go. But my best friend, Kenny, talked me into it. So we hired a limo. We went to the Moonlight Gala. We got there. She started running around and doing God knows what. And I was there all by myself, feeling a little dejected. And all of a sudden I saw this really cute guy walking back and forth, a guy with a little gray goatee. And I thought, hmm, he's cute. And all of a sudden we made eye contact and he came right up to me and he said, hi, my name's Ian McInnes and I'm on the foundation board of the McMichael Gallery. And I just wanted to say that I've always admired you because you've kept yourself relevant all these years. And I thought, what a cool thing to say to a woman who's always been dancing as fast as she could. And I was just in love with this guy from the minute he got up to me. I'm telling you, it sounds bizarre, but it's true. The chemistry that night between us, the sparks just flew and uh, we cozied up together by the end of the night. That was it. It felt like we were a couple. It was amazing, but it really was a lesson in keeping the faith, because I was 63 years old before I met him, and you just have to wait for the stars to align, because uh, love happens sometimes just like that, love at first sight. <laughs>